friends ah, welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Sasha and I have been racking my noggin for a way to continue to do album reviews without having to get ready because I used to do them as a get ready with me makeup tutorial type thing and I haven't really been wearing makeup so then I thought what other activity is long enough that I can listen to a full album and will also be distracting enough that I will have a good time. And it's doing my laundry. <laughs> I am like most of the human population who doesn't love to do laundry, and that was even before I got sick, and now that I have a chronic illness, my laundry is one of the hardest tasks that I have to do during the week. I'm in quite a bit of pain today, and I thought, what better way to get my laundry done and not think of how bad my neck hurts than to listen to Stray Kid's new album, The Sound, with you guys today. I have no idea if this video will make it past YouTube, or if it will make it in chunks, or if I'll hate the concept in a few days and never post it to anyone ever. <laughs> Chances are one of those things is gonna happen, but I don't know which one right now. I didn't really plan this out, I just thought, I look gross, I have a ton of laundry to do, I have a new album I'm gonna listen to anyway, why not get my reaction with you guys? So uh, if this does end up getting put on my channel, hello, thank you so much for watching, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're on my channel and my videos, I have an Etsy shop where I have a ton of Stray Kids items available for purchase. I also have a Patreon where I post my YouTube videos a few days before they go live on YouTube, as well as some other perks like monthly photo cards and all the fun things like that, exclusive behind the scenes, Etsy shop updates, event announcements, all sorts of things. So yeah, thanks for being here. This is a tester video to see if this works okay. And let's just get started because I have a mountain of laundry. I have to clean my bed sheets today, which honestly is the worst task in the entire world because it's just, it's a lot for someone like me these days. So let's distract ourselves with music. Here we go. Oh, I gotta, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Okay, it's happening. Oh my gosh, I'm already out of breath. This video is gonna be a lot. <sighs> Where can I put this now? Over here. I should have put my whoop on to track my activity. I can track it after the fact. What time is it? I don't know. Can my TV tell me what time it is? No. Dang it! I don't know what time it is. And I'm using my phone. Oh, my iPad. It's 1.53, so we'll start tracking at 1.30. This poor dress needs to go hang out in the bathroom because it's so wrinkly. You gotta steam it. My shirts! What good timing! I gotta try and pause it before the next song starts. Deep breaths! You can do this! It's just laundry! Maximum. This 
This is my favorite part. No wonder my neck hurts so often, but... Okay, oh my god, pause. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I did it. Woo! Made it through the first song on the album. I have heard that song before. I did my reaction to the, was it the lyric video or just the audio video? I don't remember. When that first came out on their YouTube channel. I still don't know to this day that I know that one part of who I think is singing where. It's still very confusing to me. But yeah, I love this song. Gets better every time you listen to it, in my humble opinion. We're going into Battleground next. For the rest of these, I have not heard them, unless it's the Japanese version of a Korean song or Scars. Because I've already heard those in Korean. Or Scars was in... Scars is a little confusing because it was already Japanese and then it was Korean and now it's Japanese again. I think because this is their first, like, main Japanese album, that's why they included it. Scars is such a queen. I love that song so much. I just need a minute. Hold on. I should have put compression socks on before I did this. Actually, let's do that right now. Hold on. That's a good thought, brain. Good thought. Do you sacrifice your finger health for your overall blood health? I don't know. Anyway, what a tangent that's probably either cut out of the video or all sped up. Battleground is next. Here we go. <sighs> I'm dying. I'm not, but I am. Oh my god! <laughs> Another one. Wow!
I'm going too fast <laughs> with my laundry. I need to slow down so I make it through the whole album. Ooh! Pause, pause. Okay, Battleground got me even sweatier. I did not see that song coming, I guess? I feel like their Japanese albums in the past have had, like, typically speaking, one pretty fast song. I'm thinking, like, All In. I'm thinking, I don't know, I can't think of anything else at the moment. But that's my best example. And then some slower stuff, like, this love is full of fairy tales. Like, that is still pretty fast, but it's more... It's a little more chill and maybe romantic? Is that the right word? I don't know. But Battleground is a whole, like, rager. And I didn't see that. That wasn't on my Stray Kids Bingo card for 2023. I definitely love the vibe. I think Han and Sigmund probably had the best time with this song because it's, it's giving, like, K-band a little more than it's giving K-pop and I love that for them. Definitely an interesting sound for them. I really like the instrument work in the back and I can't wait to listen to that with just headphones on. So up next is Lost Me. I have to fold my shirts and then hang everything up and I'm literally already done. This is- I need to film literally every time I do my laundry because I don't take breaks and I get done in like literally half the time. So this is exciting. Here we go. I'm gonna take a drink break though. What's up, Felix? The Aussie bros started the song. This is much more the vibe I was expecting. Yes. Yes. We're back. We're on track. Han!
was definitely more of what I was expecting from this album. Stray Kids are just such good vocalists and uh, that is a quintessential Stray Kids like ballad emotional song. Next is Don't Let Me Love You I Believe by Hyunjin. I don't know what emotions I'm gonna have but seeing as he's one of my biases in Stray Kids. My bias line recently has changed a little bit. It's always been Alt Chan, and that I don't think will ever change. Uh, your place is safe, my guy. But then my top two spot right now is going back and forth between Felix and Hyunjin. So I don't know. They're kind of both sharing the work, I guess, for my second bias. Let's hear Hyunjin's song on their first, on like the first time his song is in a major album that's not Skiz Replay. I'm so proud, I'm so excited, I'm so sweaty. Here we go. <laughs> I already love... Is that like a saxophone? Or a synth something? Oh no! It sounds almost like water, like a mystical... Here comes the dance vibe. Sing this song, Sigmund! That's Yajin's singer right there! This is also giving a little bit of taste. Musically, a little bit. The, like, whisper aspect of this? I love this song. This could be my favorite on the album. Oh my god! <laughs> wow! Yeonjin! Oh, it's so good. I don't even know what words mean anymore. I very much enjoy The Mysterious. It feels very much like a fantasy song, which also goes so well with Hyunjin's personal vibe when he picks what to dance to. I'm thinking of the fire one. Oh my god. What was that called? when he had his comeback. Ugh, I can't, I can picture his outfit 
um, but I can't picture the song title. So, but it reminds me a little bit of that. Not so much his Post Malone stuff, but like going back to maybe Billie Eilish. She is definitely more of a theatrical, like fantastical artist or was back in the day. I'm not super up to date with her current stuff, but from like a few years ago, I would say. It's also giving elements of taste with the whispering and um, the just like, I don't know what to call them, but there are musical elements that link those songs together in my mind and just give me such like a dark visual. And this one is almost giving like, I kept seeing myself in a cave and that da -na 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 -da -na -na -na. it was like water, like droplets of water in a cave somewhere from like stalactites and stalagmites. I don't know which one's on top that would drip the water. It might be my favorite song on the album. Don't know for sure. I'm almost done. I have to hang up one more shirt, then I gotta move them all to my closet, and then we can just lay here and chill until we come to case 143 and all of the Japanese versions of the songs. Because I don't think, since I'm done with my laundry pretty much, I don't think I'm going to do reactions to those. We'll just make this a quick little short video. Okay, novels up next. Here we go. Wow, I love that song. I want to hear it again. This feels very regal. So good. <laughs> Case 143, which means I timed this impeccably. Thank you so much for joining me on this random trying something new video where I put away my laundry and try and review an album. I don't know that I had the most, you know, 
articulate stuff to say because all of my blood is not in my brain right now. It is trying to pump to vital organs and keep me standing up straight. So I can't think as well as normal. Let me know if you like this style of album review because it's probably the only one I can do for a while. I don't know, I was kind of not planning on doing album reviews on my channel anymore. And I still don't know if I'm gonna upload this or not. I'm gonna have to watch it back and see how badly I cringe at myself. And if I don't cringe too bad, then you'll see this. So, anyway, thanks so much for joining me. Don't Let Me Love You is the favorite of this album so far, but I need to listen to it again. I still can't get over that second song, uh, Battleground. That vibe was I was not prepared for. Someone should have given me a warning about that. So, stay. I'm looking at you for not telling me that that was going to happen to me. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and I will see you next time. See you later. Have a good weekend. Bye. I don't know if it's the weekend when you're watching this, but it's the weekend for me right now. Okay. Bye.